Hi guys, Marsh TV here, and today I'm giving you some uh, Modern for Free gameplay while I talk about E3. E3, as uh, all of you should know, is the the big thing for gaming. It's what all the games list, um, what people, what all the companies release all their information, uh, what games are coming out, what they're working on, what projects they're building, all this kind of stuff. Now, the big list is the game list. What has been confirmed, what has not been confirmed to be at E3 this year. Now, E3 starts on Monday. It's three days away, guys. Three days. And lasts till the 7th of June. Yep, so it's not that long. You know, you've got... It lasts for three days. Yeah, three days. Wow. So that's a good good long time. I wish I was going, but I'm not. Fortunately, it's in America, and I, I'm off to America um, uh, later this month. So I can't go twice. Because um, it's in LA. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you the uh, games what have been confirmed, and then I'm going to give you what I think is going to be announced and what what really what 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 I really think about some of the games what are going to be announced, how I'm going to think they're going to be, and all this. So I'm going to give you only the big ones. It's a huge list, and I'll put the link in the description of the list what what's coming out this year. Um, the big ones, right? Badlands do. Uh, is going to be for the 360, PS3, and the PC. Activision are bringing out Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which everyone, everyone should know about. Even if you still play in your SNES, in your attic, or whatever, in your basement, you should know that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is coming out. Uh, the release date for that is sometime this year. I'm not too sure. Transformers Giants... No, Skyland. Skylanders Giants. Transformers Fall of the Cybertron. The Amazing Spider-Man. Family Guy, I bring out a game, Back to the Multiverse, uh, P PS3 and Xbox 360, is that really necessary? Skyrim Elder Scrolls, no, no, uh, not <laughs> Skyrim Elder Scrolls, I bring out Dongard, which is uh, some extra content, if you never play the Oblivion, you get extra content, they bring it out quite often, um, for the 360, PS3 and PC. But they're also bringing out Elder Scrolls Online, which is only for the PC. Sorry, guys, I did not want to ruin your day there when you had Elder Scrolls Online, but your ears are pricked up. But it's only for the PC. So if you're not a PC gamer, you are going to get some extra content called Dawn Guard. There's a trailer on that on YouTube, you can check it out. Looks kind of cool. Uh, Resident Evil 6. Wow. I'm looking for the, forward to this one. Resident Evil 5, I never played it, but Resident Evil 4, I played it. And I think I'm going to get this one. Street Fighter. They bring out a new one for the PS Vita. It's going to be, it's going to be at E3 this year, so you should watch. You should watch E3. Watch E3. This is mind control. Madagascar 3, the video game. Now, was that really, really needed to be at E3? Does anyone even care? Will that even sell? Will people even buy that? Buy that game? Battlefield 3, Armored Kill, and Battlefield 3, Close Quarters are going to be out for all platforms, well, apart from the PS Vita, your, your general free, 360, PS3, um, PC, Crisis Free, uh, FIFA 13, and NFL 13, Medal of Honor, Warfight, I can't believe they're still bringing out Medal of Honor games, why, no one's going to buy them, it's Call of Duty now, get over it, you, you, you lost a war, you were winning at PS2, now you lost, okay, give up, SimCity for PC, uh, what, there's already SimCity, well, is that some kind of new, like, Let's just give it a new makeover. Rock Band Blitz for the Xbox Live Arcade and the PSN network. Uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is for the 360, PS3, and PC. Metal Gear? Is that? Is that, I'm actually going to check that. I'm actually going to click on the link now. Is that Metal Gear Solid? Is for the 360? It is. Why would you do that? Why? No, just don't do that. 360 P. It's a PS3 game only, right? I'm going to tell you this. Konoma? No, just no. Microsoft. Halo 4, I am looking forward to that. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to pre-order it. I'm going to pre-order lim the uh, limited edition. Because they're not bringing out Legendary Edition, which I'm really disappointed. And I'm going to tell you at the end of this video about some of the benefits if you get the pre-order Halo 4. Gears of War Project. Now this, this is something I was a bit confused about. I didn't look into it, but really? Uh, you said Gears of War 3 would be the last one. Then you're going to bring out another one. Let's just... No, it's a different story. It's not the same Gears of War. I don't care. You bring out another one. You lied to us. Star Trek the game. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not a fan of Star Trek, but some of you guys are. And it's great. It'd be a good game, I guess. Super Mario Wii U. The Wii U, so everyone has heard about this. And this is supposedly the reason why GTA 4... <laughs> um, GTA 5, I mean, has not had any information on it for a while now. And they're not releasing it. They're not... This, 
Rumours were supposed to be releasing it in February this year, um, so it's not out yet. But rumours are the, uh, that um, Nintendo paid Rockstar Games at money so they wouldn't release it you know, early or something like this so they could have it on their console too when that comes out. DC Universe Online and Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures are to be released on the PC and DC Universe on the PS3 uh, by Sony Entertainment which I think the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures will suck, personally. Uh, wow! Hitman, they bring out another one for the PS3, PC and 360. Tomb Raider, which is a game I'm going to get because it's a remake of the first one. You play the first one. I used to love that. On my PS1, I can remember as a kid, trying to get out of the mansion. I was, I could never get out. I spent hours trying to get out of that. Then like my, my older brothers would come around and be like, Yo, Adam, you got to go that way. Yo, you got to do this way. <laughs> Seriously, it was just awkward. Anyway, so w Worms Revolution is going to be for the PS3, 360, and PC. Now, Worms games should be arcade games. They shouldn't be real games. Now, I think this sh might possibly become an arcade game. It doesn't say it is, but the platform it says is the just a general platform, it's not the PSN or the arcade. But I think it might make its way onto the arcade rather than an actual game. I'm not saying it could make it an actual game, but if it does, I will be getting it. I don't even like Worms games anyway, I'll be getting it anyway. Uh, what other games? Ubisoft are bringing out Far Cry 3, Rayman Legends, Assassin's Creed 3, Rocksmith, and Shoot Mania Storm. Now, Shoot Mania Storm looks kind of good. I, I am thinking about getting that for my PC. Valve are bringing out Counter Strike Goal Offenses for the 360, PS3, and the PC. 360, yes! I am so going to get that. It's actually an uh, arcade game. Yeah, Xbox Live Arcade. I don't think it is the full game. I'm not too sure. I was looking into it, but I, I've never played Counter Strike, so I don't know if there's, if it's like Call of Duty, where there's generally loads of maps, like 10 15 maps. Because it was only three maps uh, shown on it, but anyway. F1 2012. Formula 1 2012, you don't know what that is, is going to be uh, E3. And that is the list. Oh no, apart from Castle Storm, which is going to be for mobile, PS3, 360, and PC. Castle Storm, I'm a bit wary of whether this would be good or not, but mm, I don't know. Anyway, Microsoft, going on to that is, that is the list of games that are being announced. There's a few more, there's about double that, but they were all ones where I've never heard of, don't know what they are, and that, you know, all irrelevant ones, but they, I, I listed the ones that people will know, like Far Cry, Crisis Free, you know, all the ones that people will go, yeah, yeah I've been wanting some information on that, I'm going to watch you for, you know. Um, now, Microsoft has announced more pre-order bonus content for Halo 4, which is amazing for us Halo fans, I suggest, if you're going to pre-order this, or Black Ops, get Halo 4, because... I think Halo 4 will outshine Black Ops immensely. Uh, it will just be like, Pow! it's just gonna. I've seen the trailers for it, and I've seen the trailers for Black Ops, Halo 4, Black Ops 2. Which one are you gonna go for? I'm gonna. If you're gonna listen to Surly, on my opinion, this is my opinion. I'm gonna go for Halo 4. I'm gonna get both of them, but I'm gonna pre-order Halo 4 and just buy. Black Ops, normal standard edition. I might get Black Ops 2 for the zombies. If that's the only reason, if there was no zombies, I'd be like, it's just another Call of Duty. I've got the last. Uh, I've got every single Call of Duty. I've got them all <laughs> on my uh, shelf to stand there. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. <laughs> it's going on. Uh, so, I don't think I really need another Call of Duty game. <laughs> it's kind of a bit boring for me. But the the bonus stuff that they're giving you is a, a new battle rifle. Uh, skin. They're gonna give you um, armor skins, and there's a wide variety and different designs of armor skins. So it, they're kind of making it a bit more customizable, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more like Black Ops. Well, that that, that was really customizable when that came out, and you were like, oh yeah, I can customize my character. I can have a cool little Indian man's hat or a blue man's scarf. You know what I mean? You could you could really make a character look a bit more. Well, they're gonna do, take it a step further than they did, and make you actually be able to change patterns of your skin. Now this is it for the E3 uh, content. Apart from Xbox 360 price drop is what I think will be predicted from the and not PS, the PS4 will not be I repeat will not be shown at E3. That's my prediction but the Xbox 720 might be and that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get what you like out of E3. I hope you see some real good games and have a good